Well, Prime Minister Trudeau has won his third term, but he certainly had to do the political equivalent of crawling over broken glass to get it. His decision to call an early election backfired substantially, and his standing in the parliament is barely any stronger than before, and he's still far from that majority he wanted. But that said, the Prime Ministership is a very powerful office independent of parliament. Assuming Trudeau has learned his lesson about early elections, we can now assume that he will hang around in the job until at least 2025, if he plays his cards right. Trudeau's re-election, of course, comes as a big disappointment to the Conservatives, who really did seem to be on the brink of taking power for much of this campaign. But despite Aaron O'Toole's aggressively moderate pitch, the Conservatives did not really increase their appeal in any substantial way, resulting in an election map that looks much the same as 2019. O'Toole has not yet announced if he plans to resign as party leader or not. Traditionally, in Canadian politics, you only get one kick at the can, and as the saying goes, politics isn't like hand grenades. Close enough isn't good enough.